Today, I've got two hauls for you, one from the Canton Goodwill bins and one from the Akron Goodwill bins. Let's see which one is better, or is it a tie? You decide. Let's get started. As you can see in my thumbnail, I got a bag from each place, and the prices I spent were very similar. The Canton Goodwill, I spent $2.39. 16 cents tax for a total of 255 and a very similar price the akron goodwill bins i spent 2.99 plus tax and there was 14 cents tax so three dollars and 13 cents three dollars and 13 cents versus 255 so pretty close let's start with the canton goodwill bins if you were to ask me on a regular basis i would say I have a lot more luck at the Akron Goodwill bins finding good things. All right, I got five items. This I was really pleased about finding and excited. I didn't know there was another Father of the Bride video. I love the one with Steve Martin, and this had Spencer Tracy, Joan Bennett, Benet or Bennett, probably Bennett, and Elizabeth Taylor. So uh, I don't know what year it was from. Let me see if it says, have you seen this? I would love to know. I'm going to be watching this soon. I don't see a year on it. it feels really light. Oh, good. There's a video in here. I was so worried. I, I bought an empty case. So that was a favorite find. I'm always looking for brass. I found one brass candlestick and I was very disappointed I couldn't find another. I did the Amy at Yoso Boho dig and looked for another one. She's pretty lucky about that, but this is all I found, but I think it'll sell. And then this is damaged and I checked with Melody, my friend, and she thinks that I can just tack that back in place. So I'm gonna ask her for some more specific details on that. But these do well in my booth, and I don't really see any damage on it. A lot of times they have burn marks on them from a hot pot. So that was a good score. And then I found three of these. If you were very observant, you would see that I used these in my fall decor. So I'll show you a short clip because I forgot to take them down. And you know what? Christmas is happening around here. <laughs> So I'll show you those. I got three of those. And then the last item I found, the tag is torn off. I would assume it was made in Taiwan. Oh yeah, made in Taiwan. One has the tag and one doesn't. Aren't these adorable? They look like home code to me. These will probably go in my booth for Christmas. And I'm guessing there was probably a third. A lot of times there's a third of these little collectibles or little figurines. Look at the eyelashes. Aren't they, darling? And what animal do we have here? I'm thinking a mouse, mice. What do you think? I'm terrible at identifying animals. <laughs> all right, that's it for the Canton Goodwill. So all that was $2.55, including tax. So let's look at what I got at the Akron Goodwill bins. I should have told you to grab a mug of something because I'm having hot chocolate today. And I wanted to show you my mug. I actually bought this for my mom when I was probably a late teenager, early adult in my 20s. And this is vintage now. So it's now my favorite mug. And it does have some staining on it. I've tried different things to get that off. So if you have a tip for me, let me know. Oh, I love hot chocolate. Okay. So there was five items in my haul from Canton Goodwill. Let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items at the Akron Goodwill. All right, I found this. Let me see what it's marked on the back. Oh boy. I'm not going to be able to tell because the tag is half torn off. It might be World Vacations. I don't know. I do remember looking this up. Oops, sorry. That's a bird. I know that. <laughs> It's a red bird. Now this could be a little trinket dish or what else? You tell me. That's all I could think of actually, or just for collecting or for display. And I did look that up on eBay. If I can find a comp, I'll put it somewhere on either side. Usually I have to squeeze it in, so I'll put it over there. <laughs> How's that? Have you ever seen these and do you know anything about them? 
I thought it was cute. And then this is just for me. That was going to go in my booth. This I'm keeping. It says on the back, Barbizon Porcelain Company made in USA. And somebody had tried to sell it for $2. I just thought it was really cute. It says Knoxville, Tennessee, 1982. That's the year I graduated. But look how cute the deer is. And I'm looking at my deer display. I've done something a little different with it this year as I'm decorating for Christmas, but it's not done. But I'll definitely show you when it's done. This I picked up for my friend Melody. Look how sweet. I think it's a cheerleader Hello Kitty. She does have a Hello Kitty bathroom. And if I can find the link for the video that that was shown in, because she gave a little tour for us after I purchased an item for her at a thrift store. I can't remember which one, but I will um, link that if I can. And this may or may not go in her bathroom, she didn't say, but that's for her. And I will be seeing her very soon. So I was glad I found that in this haul because I forgot about it. This will go in my Halloween box for next year to sell. I think it's very, very vintage looking and very cute. Let's see, this has a date on it maybe? Yeah, 2014. So it is not vintage, but I think it sure has a vintage feel to it. Do you like it? I sure do. All right, and I'm always looking for flags. These are so cheap to pick up at the bins because they weigh about nothing. So I probably paid two cents for that and it's in good shape. That's for my decor. So this was a fun find. It's Tupperware. Did you have these? I don't know why, but they have a way of disappearing from your house. These are nice if you want to take dressing in your lunch or just a little something something or something left over in the fridge but for some reason they disappear. So I think I'm down to one and I probably started out with four or more. All right, this I thought was super cool. Um, I am gonna try to sell this, I think. It's a journal. Let's see, that's the front, but it was upside down. It says cork book, unique journal cover made from real cork and blank recycled paper. So this is made by Michael Roger Press, Inc. It's made in the USA. And the cool thing about it is it has some leaves that have been pressed inside the pages and they're just beautiful. Oops, I don't wanna break it. The stem is caught in the spiral binding. <laughs> Look at the rich color on those. I'll just tilt it this way so you can see. And let me find any others. Oh my goodness. I think somebody actually wrote in this. Yes, they did. I did not notice that when I found it. Hmm. Huh. That's so funny. Oh, there's more than more than a couple pages. That'll kind of be fun to read. But I can always tear those out and then sell it as is. Look at this one. Isn't that vibrant? Well, let me turn around. It's not a vibrant color. I might do a craft with those. I've never pressed leaves. If I did, it would have been when I was a kid, but I just thought this was so fun. Aren't they pretty? So that will go in my booth. I think maybe in the fall would be a good time to try to sell that. It's very, very nice and a nice quality. And there was a price tag on the back of, from Barnes and Noble, $14.95. So nice find. And lastly, I found this. It's new with tag. Let me move his mane. It's a lion, I can tell you that. Look how cute this is. And it's got a very like rough wooly type texture. And it's a brand called Tuli's One of a Kind. I'll show you the tag, Tuli's. And then it's from Anthropology, and it was originally $38. So I will be putting that in my booth and I thought it might be cute to stick in there for Valentine's Day. What do you think? Maybe somebody's honey loves anthropology stuff and would like to get that. So that was probably my best find for resale, I would say. And let me pick a favorite. It's gonna be an unusual one today. 
So very first thing I showed you, I'm really excited about watching this movie. So that's my favorite. I do really like these little mice too, if that's really what they are. <laughs> we'll see. But I really like those, but I'm really going to sell them. So now it's your turn to let me know your favorite or favorite items. And let me know if you think the Canton Goodwill one today or the Akron Goodwill. If I had to pick, gosh, it's hard. I'm going to say for myself, the Canton Goodwill bins was best for me because I got that movie. But for resale, I think the Akron Goodwill bins was the best. So out of all this, I'm only keeping this and the deer plate and then the movie oh and also the doilies these were a nice find too and those were from the canton bins i'll be sure and pop that little clip in for you here so you can see what i did with them and i don't know why i didn't put this one in with my decor i know i washed the other two and this one looked really really clean so maybe that's why it was still in here i was originally going to sell those here's where i use these little doilies for the fall just to give a little accent there by my curie I thought that was really cute. That's it for today. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. Be sure and check out the end screen for the next video I have especially for you to watch. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Today I've got two Goodwill Bins haul. Bins haul? Bins hauls? Mm -hmm.